I've been bamboozled. I've been swindled. I've been tricked. Now listen, first of all, let me just start the fuck off and say that I don't give a fuck that I'm sitting in my room with the sweater on. Because it's cold in this bitch. So don't judge me. I don't give a fuck about you. Secondly, we're not going to do first, secondly, thirdly. We're going to do whatever the fuck I want to talk about. And what I want to talk about is loose fucking skin. It's nasty. It's horrible. It's disgusting. And I don't know what else to talk. Like, ew. If you don't have the funds to chop that fucking skin off after you get a procedure done, or if you lose a mass amount of weight, don't do that. Don't lose the weight. Because it's fucking deceiving. And I understand it may you may need it for health issues. You may need, you know, to lose weight for confidence. And I'm all for that. But if you don't have the funds to get that loosey fucking goosey skin chopped off, do not do it. Then you have a motherfucker like me who get into some action. You take your fucking shirt off and all I see is a pack of fried bologna. All I get is a fucking slap across the face from your skin. It's nasty. I don't want it. I'm traumatized. I'm nasty. I made this fucking cheeseburger, right? Don't judge how it looks. But I made this cheeseburger. And now I can't really even eat it because I'm fucking having flashbacks of your loose ass skin. It's nasty. It is so nasty. I can go on for hours about this bullshit because, like, I'm traumatized. It's like a female with weave, and y'all about to engage in something, and you go to yank it because you want to get nasty with it. You want to get kinky, and you go to, you know, give it a little tug just to, to let her know who's boss and who's in charge at the moment, and you yank it, and it comes off. And then all you see is ball spots, pee snaps, and motherfucking booby traps. That's not good. That's too much. It's too much. I don't want to go through this again. I really don't want to go through this again. This is fucking horrible. I can't eat. I didn't go. It happened today, so I have yet to go to sleep. So we'll talk about that tonight, and I'll tell you if I'm having trouble sleeping. I can't think straight. It's just all a fucking travesty i feel so tricked like what the f like why why i gotta always get some bullshit like this fat people do not lose weight it goes to plus for everybody it's just for anybody whose outer appearance does not match when they take their clothes off that's just that with a fat person and i have nothing against fat people because fat people get too busy and they have sex and a lot of people are interested in fat people, and a lot of people are attracted to fat people, and it'd be the people that you least expect. So there's not, there's not an issue with, you know, people being fat, except for the health thing. But other than that, I don't really have an issue with fat people at all. I'm saying you know what you're getting with a fat person. When you're dealing with a fat person who loses a fucking ton of weight, you don't know what to expect because you didn't know that they were fat before. You don't. In some cases. In some cases, you can tell. But in some, you have no clue. And then this motherfucker takes their shirt off. And you're like... And then drops... Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. I don't even want to sip this juice, but I'm parched, so I will. It's just too much. I've been through too much. And I don't want to go through anymore. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this video. I never give you any videos of substance, so... I'm sorry. My nose is itching. I'm not, like, digging in my nose and trying to get boogers out because I don't like that. I'm just itching it or scratching it because it's fucking itching. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. I'm going to put it to an end. Like I said, I never leave you with anything of substance, except for that if you're fat and you lose fucking weight, let people know. Don't take your shirt off, and there's a fucking a thousand pounds and mountains of skin climbing down your chest. That is so disgusting and so nasty. 
and I, ah, ugh, ugh, just don't do that. I'm not for trickery. I like to know what I'm getting. That's, I don't like no surprise. That's why I've never been a, like a surprise. I don't like surprises at all. I don't like to be surprised. I don't like to be tickled. All that shit feels like I'm dying. So if you surprise me, it's equivalent to death to me. If you tickle me, it's equivalent to motherfucking death. Don't do it. That's all I have to say about this shit. Bye, bitch.